Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be a love reading. We are gonna find out what is happening in your love life this summer. Now I have nine options here. I want you guys to observe each of these numbers and stones and see which pile really calls out to you. Now while you guys do that, I do wanna announce that I still have exclusive pick a card readings going on on my Patreon and on my Instagram. I actually did a reading on my Patreon for people that wanna find out why they are still single and it's only a dollar to see all my exclusive videos. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave the information in the description box and also in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for listening to my intro. Let's just find out what is going on this summer. I'm super excited to hop right into this reading. All right. Option number one, let's see what's going on in your love life this summer. And of course we have other messages that will wanna come through as well for you guys. All right. All right, option number one, already off to a solid start. We got the queen of fire here. What does that tell me? It tells me that you guys are gonna really feel confident, attractive. You guys are gonna have your glow up this summer. I can see a lot of you guys hitting some fitness goals or just like taking care of yourself, your appearance, or just feeling really confident. And that's just gonna make you radiate. I just feel like you guys are gonna be having so much fun this summer. I'm seeing with the moon here, you guys are kind of like embracing the unknown. I feel like in the past you may have feared the unknown, but you're gonna be a little bit more ballsy to go after new things, new adventures, new people. I also see justice is here, so I feel like you guys will get some sort of positive news, positive message, something like that. I am seeing that you guys are gonna be a little closed off to opening up your heart to somebody this summer, so you might just be interested in just like having fun and flings, but we're definitely gonna see why that is. I do feel like you guys feel like if someone's not gonna be loyal and faithful to you, there's no point of opening up your heart to them, which makes a lot of sense. So option number one, I don't see you guys opening, opening up your heart to somebody unless they really prove themselves to be loyal or faithful. I feel like you guys will probably by the end of the summer have some sort of victory and a commitment. So at first I do see you guys having fun, playing the field, but I do feel like you guys wanna feel victorious and you wanna be committed to, but you're gonna have that relationship probably by the end of the summer, you'll find that right person for you. But at first, you're definitely gonna be having a lot of fun. You guys are, you guys understand you're on a new chapter right now. So I do feel like a lot of things are going on outside of relationships for you. So you could have Pisces or Cancer or Gemini in your chart. I do see the seventh house here in the ninth house. So like I said before, I do see some aspects of yourself being by yourself, hermited, spiritual development, del like focusing on your career, focusing on your, your growth, focusing on your health. And I see another side of you guys, actually because you invested that time and energy into your, your appearance, your happiness, your self-love, you're gonna end up with a great partnership, I feel. And I see it could also be with someone with Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini in their chart. I feel like you guys also might be still dealing with a heartache. You might have closed the door on somebody. You know, you might recently have gone through a breakup or you're releasing the past. So I do feel like this is a reminder that there is someone better. You will be finding someone better. I do see new love coming in for you guys this summer. I feel like when in doubt, you guys need to meditate because you do kind of get a little confused about what's going on in your life and you want to find out all the answers. But the best place is to go inward. You know, people like me help you along, but I feel like the best place to find answers is within yourself. I do feel like a lot of you guys with the deception card here, I feel like you are gonna be lying to yourself about what you want in a relationship. Like you might just say, oh, I don't want love, screw that. I'm done with that. But I feel like deep down, you guys really do wanna open your heart up to somebody, substantial. And I feel like that person's coming very soon. So stay optimistic, guys. You are still healing from your past. And that could be from past hurt, childhood trauma, or whatever might have happened to you. Not just hurt in relationships. Whatever happened to you in the past might have affected you to the point where you don't wanna open up to people even friendships, but I feel like because you're healing, you're gonna be opening up to new people, new opportunities, new situations. I see you guys also just working on time management, so you're just gonna be getting done a lot of work quicker and easier, so you can have a lot more fun and play time. I'm also seeing for you guys that if you made a new vision board recently, then this is a really good sign. I actually just made a vision board myself the first time in two years, and I'm super excited. Probably means I'm heading towards a new chapter, and a lot of you guys um, probably are heading towards a new chapter as well. Now, if you haven't made a vision board yet or a new one, this is a sign you guys need to make a new vision board or make a vision board for the summer or what you want to accomplish. You'll, you know, having a vision board serves two purposes, guys, for manifestation and also to figure out what it is that you want. If you put, you know, everything that inspires you on a board, you'll see it every single day and it will keep you inspired, keep you motivated. And on top of that, because you're looking at it and you're inspired and you're motivated, you're also manifesting that as well. So it's definitely like a double positive thing. 
I also see that some of you guys may be taking classes this summer or some of you guys are actually taking a break from your school classes. So you're, you're going to be spending time learning things that interest you outside your normal studies. But I feel like some of you guys might be teaching a class this summer as well. I'm seeing that you guys kind of feel a little bit like your finances are not going to be the best entering the summer, but I feel like you will get an influx of money with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Coins. So you also have a um, career reading going on here, or a finance reading, I should say, because I see somebody giving you money possibly, or a windfall of money, or just, you know, with the Justice card, you could have like some sort of settlement. I just see like money coming in. Like I said before, maybe in the beginning of the summer, you might be feeling a little, you know, you guys are going to be having fun. I'm not going to say that you're not going to be having fun. You're going to be having a lot of fun, but you're not going to be feeling like you want to open up to anybody. But by the end of the summer, I feel like you're going to feel financially secure and even emotionally secure. We got the moon cycle again. I saw the moon when, when I first started this um, pile. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are kind of feeling a little up and down. We just entered cancer season. And I feel like, you know, we're all really emotional. So guys, just understand that you are going to feel a little up and down this summer. You're going to feel your emotions, but it's better to feel them than to not feel them at all. And I feel like also some of your trauma from your past might be surfacing. You know, you might be running into people from your past and reminiscing and feeling things that you don't want to feel. But I feel like it will all pass through. You guys are meant to become leaders, so if you're already a leader, you're already a leader, you're gonna continue to do so, you're gonna continue to help others. I do feel like if you're not a leader yet, you're prepping to become a leader. I'm also seeing that a lot of you guys are gonna be exploring new options in your life. And I feel like, most of all, just forgive yourself. You know, nobody's perfect. I feel like you guys have been really hard on yourself. This summer, you're definitely going to be working on expanding yourself, expanding your business, and also forgiving yourself and you know, helping others as well and being a leader. So let's get some more um, information about your romantic life. Your friends are definitely gonna help you. I also feel like you guys are gonna be meeting more helpful friends. And I'm also seeing for you guys that, yeah, you will have a relationship get to the next level. So this looks really, really positive, guys. Some other signs coming in could be Scorpio. So I see all the water signs. So you might be starting a relationship with water sign people. You might be attracting a lot more emotionally um, available people in your life. And I feel like, yeah, you guys have been through it. So you're ready for some new ventures. With the Venus here, yeah, there's definitely strong indication there is going to be romance and a significant romance as well for you guys coming in. Yeah, within the next couple months. So I feel like if not right away, it will come sometime this summer. So be patient. And that's what I have for you guys for what is going on in your romantic life this summer all right let's move on to option number two let's find out what is going on in your romantic life this summer so if you chose option number two let's see what is going on all right so i do see for my option number two people with the knight of pentacles right off the bat i do see there is an energy of someone around you romantically this summer it could be an earth sign a capricorn a virgo or a taurus rising sun or moon I see that um, this person may be playing a little bit games with you. I feel like it could be kind of a relationship with a little bit of mind games, but I do feel like this is somebody that you might have met through a group or met out with friends. And if you haven't met this person, you're probably gonna meet someone like this. I feel like you guys will also be dating around, especially in the start of the summer. I do see with the four of swords here that, you know, a lot of you guys are gonna be focusing on having fun and resting, which just sounds like a good summer vibe, you know? It sounds like a normal summer thing to do, having fun and resting. We all need to do those things, right? I also feel like there is someone you already know that will be returning into your life. Could be someone you already know that you're dealing with with this Knight of Pentacles energy, but I'm gonna pull more cards about this person and see who they are. But yeah, there definitely is someone you already know that is going to try to make a move towards you. They're very passionate about you. They are gonna try to communicate with you. I feel like a lot of people are gonna start to try to communicate with you. I'm actually kind of getting that you'll find in the past that a lot of people were playing games with you, but I feel like you guys are working on yourself and you're becoming more emotionally open with people. And because you're stop, you stop playing games, other people will stop playing games or you're going to start dropping people who play games and attract better people as far as friendships go. Three of Cups is there. So I see you guys having fun with your girls. Um, that's kind of what I see. Obviously, if you're a girl, if you're a boy, you'd be having fun with your girls or your boys too. It doesn't really matter. Girlfriends, guy friends, whatever. I just see you guys really hanging out and having a good time with good people, which is really, 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 really good. I, I think that's great. So I also see with the sun here, you guys will be like having a surge of energy. You guys are going to be feeling like really creative, really successful. You're going to really realize that you are taking action towards a lot of stuff that you've wanted to for a while. I feel like with the fourth house here, you're definitely going to feel really stable, really at home, really comfortable. You might be hanging out with your family a lot too. Maybe you have a family member that has Scorpio in their chart, but I'm also seeing maybe you have Scorpio in your chart or you're hanging out with a friend or even a romantic partner has Scorpio, but we'll see what else. So I feel like, yeah. 
Maybe you guys need to let go because it may not exactly be the right time for love. So let go of expectations. It may not be the right time to find the one, the one, but I do feel like there's people around you that you're learning that you're growing from and that is just as equally important. I do feel like you guys need to remain positive. Everything happens for a reason. Like I said before, someone is coming back from your past. I am seeing that again. So like I said, this is somebody that takes their time, but they're coming towards you with some new energy, some new vibes, something they want to tell you. And I feel like you guys probably will be, maybe you won't be committing to this person, but you will be communicating with them and, you know, healing from the past with them. I'm feeling like, you know, it is going to be safer for you to love this person if it was someone who was a little bit more toxic in the past. Yeah, this is somebody who does... I feel like they could have Leo in their chart, but it's someone who has been holding back their feelings for you and they want to come in with a romantic offer. And they could have water in their chart as well. Cancer, um, you know, Cancer Rising, I heard specifically, or um, Sun Sign Cancer, Sun Sign um, Earth Sign, whatever. But I do feel like, you know, Earth and Water and Fire, I'm feeling. I feel like um, you guys may not like want to be totally with this person for whatever reason, but I do feel like this is someone from your past coming in strong and they are gonna have an influence over what goes on this summer in your life. Okay, so yeah, I feel like some of you guys, like this may not be like an ex-ex, but this could be like someone from your past also that you know. Does that make sense? Like you may have more than one ex. I'm also seeing you're releasing an ex as well, but maybe not this person. If it is this person, then you're probably, you know, trying to release them, but they're still trying to come back in. But I feel like it's a different person from your past. Not, not like an ex that you've really been with for a while, like somebody that you maybe you had an on and off relationship with, I'm seeing. I do feel like this person is very sensitive. That that kind of gives you an indication. Also, you're going to be really sensitive this summer. So take care of yourself. Also, I feel like you guys will be like doing a lot of like speaking your mind, being confident, and it's going to really help heal the relationships around you. Yeah, I do feel like you just have some karmic relationships around you, but you know, the relationships from past lives that need healing it could be multiple people coming in, two different people or three different people from your past, like that want to heal things. I feel like you guys are going to be doing a lot of healing. It makes sense because there is going to be some retrogrades this summer. So it makes sense that people are coming back from the past. And you guys will be kind of interested in what they have to say. It's kind of people you didn't really see coming in, I feel like. You know, some people you do, some people you don't. The world is there. So I feel like this is like, the summer for you guys is going to be about, you know, being aware of things that may have hold you back in the past and entering a new chapter. And I feel like everything is happening for a divine purpose. You guys also have a gift of, a gift of Claire audience. So just pay attention to your thoughts and your feelings about things. Because I feel like the angels are communicating with you guys on how to proceed, you know, moving forward when it comes to your career, when it comes to your love life even. And it's saying, take your time making this decision. So I feel like when it comes to romance and commitment, you guys are realizing you're going to take your time to decide who you're going to be with long term. You know, you, I feel like you guys are just going to have fun and connect with new people and old people as well. And I feel like you're going to be making a careful decision about, you know, who you're going to be with long term. So I don't really see you guys over committing as much, but we'll see. You guys will actually be like channeling all your experiences into your work, but there is going to be a lot of romance. You guys get what I'm saying? Like you have romance going on, but you also have other things going on as well. You got the sun here. So that's what I'm saying. You guys are going to be having a lot of fun. Like, I don't feel like you're going to be like single by your own, like by someone else's choice. I feel like you guys are going to choose to be single, have fun, experience life. And I do feel like a lot of people are going to be making the effort. And I feel like a few people are coming back from the past. I'm actually getting one to two energies. Maybe an ex that you're releasing, maybe someone else you were on and off with. Let's see what else about this. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You guys are really working on walking away from no longer serves you. So you're re-examining some past situationships, I'm hearing. But the Eight of Swords here again. So honestly, a lot of you guys are not meant to know exactly what's going to happen this summer. It's really meant to be played out in a divinely ordered kind of way. I feel like you guys definitely are working towards this ideal romance that you want in your life. So just keep it, you know, keep it positive. Keep your thoughts positive. And I also feel like at the end of the day, Queen of Swords is here. So yeah, you guys are going to be doing a lot of cutting people off also who just don't serve you. And I feel like you're prepping for this like really, really positive change coming in. You guys are really connected to who you really are. So just be gentle with yourself. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of transformations happening. And also, most importantly, you guys will be learning how to communicate clearly with others when it comes to romance. And yeah, you're going to be choosing new directions and having fun, new experiences, traveling, expanding your businesses, expanding your work. It's not just going to be all about love, but love is definitely going to be there to inspire you. You're not going to be alone, but I'm also feeling like you're not going to overcommit, if that makes sense. You guys are definitely focused on other avenues, your stability, your money. You know, I kind of see that. Like, you guys have different ambitions. Yep, you guys are definitely going to be working, too. Working hard and healing as well. So, let's see what the last thing is. 
it's going to be a very, very big summer for transformation, guys. Spiritual transformations. That's what I see for my option number two, people. Hope you enjoyed that message. All right. Let's move on to option number three. Let's find out what is happening in your love life this summer. Okay, so this is what I see. You guys are going to be getting really creative this summer. And not only that, you guys are going through a huge transformation right now as we speak. It's crazy. Like, honestly, like I see right now, like this is a big change going on right now. Well, summer started. So since the summer hit, guys, you've been transforming. But the Queen of Cups here, wow, you guys are transforming inside and out, beautifully, externally. Like, it's crazy. I kind of feel like you guys are creating yourself, becoming the person you want to be. You're like becoming amused to your own, like, ambitions your goals your dreams some of you guys are artists so you kind of feel like your life should be creative and fun and you should be able to express yourself and have freedom and i see you guys channeling that energy into your work and putting your heart into your work and yeah something had happened to you guys and you're not the same in a good way with the king of wands here and the seven of cups um there's definitely a fire sign male that is going to be a um a prominent part of your summer i do see this person um with the seven of cups you guys also will have a lot of options so maybe you attract a lot of fire signs maybe you'll be dating multiple fire signs but we'll, we'll see more about this in a little bit there's definitely a main fire sign person that you're going to be feeling their energy they miss you very strongly so you know this is someone who probably made you feel trapped and it's kind of like your free will what you want to do with this person but i kind of feel like yeah there is someone maybe an ex or somebody that is going to try to come in from your past but i feel like you guys are humanitarians you're going to be focusing on you know, your goals, you know, helping others. With Mars here, I don't feel like you guys are going to back down. You're going to be striving towards your goals. You're going to be confronting people. You're going to be strong in your power, assertive. And I'm also seeing what Uranus here. You guys are going a unique path this summer. You're going to be doing your own thing, which is pretty cool. I also feel like you guys are really learning and growing right now. Like, every experience is going to have in this summer is going to be really powerful for growth and for change. And yes, within perfect timing, you are going to get a new love coming in. So, you know, I did see that with the King of Wands here and the Queen of Cups, like, the cards came up together. So it makes me feel like you guys will be getting to some sort of strong relationship with a new love as well. So I kind of get, like, you guys attract fire signs because there may be a fire sign in your past. But you also have a fire sign probably in your future or someone who's really fiery, ambitious. Maybe because you guys have strong Mars, you, you're you attracted to people who are also very assertive go-getters. I can see that being the case. You guys might be retreated a little bit from relationships or just from people from time to time. But I feel like it's because you're learning what you deserve, your self-worth. And I feel like you guys will be comfortable with retreating from people if they're not giving you what you want, which is great. I do feel like you guys are going to be successful no matter what it is that you're going through. I feel like some of you guys are questioning a relationship or you're questioning your job or your wherever you are or whatever something that you want to achieve. You're wondering if it's a successful endeavor. I feel like this is going to be a summer of success. You're going to look at it in a positive light like from years to come, honestly. Six of Cups is there. Yeah, there is someone from your past coming through past life as well there's there's definitely two strong energies there's someone from your past that misses you and there's someone from you in the future that's coming in from your past life and this person is going to fall in love with you and i feel like you guys will have great romance you know <laughs> i do feel like this this person um could have swords in their chart as well this new person coming in they are um chatty they are they love uh, intellectual connection i feel like you guys will connect, you know, deep, deep, long talks like about life and just they're going to get you on a level no one else has. And I feel like that's what's going to set them apart from like these people from your past because I see you had a lot of options and you're like, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, this is a good summer for romance. Option number three, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. The angels are helping you get to your soulmate as we speak. And you're going to be really victorious about this person. I see that this person, you know, positive thoughts will create positive results. You guys are focusing on the law of attraction. Remember to keep your thoughts positive. You know, stand in the mirror and say your affirmations if you have to. I definitely still work on it every single day because it's easy to slip back into that negative mindset when something happened or a perceived rejection happens or, you know, something unfortunate happens. Some of us just downward spiral. That's what I call it. I do that sometimes too when I get in one of those moods and I got to pull myself out of it, you know, because positive shifts are happening. For my option number three people i'm seeing that you need to spend more time outdoors you guys are very 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 energy sensitive and people's energies do affect you you know you protect yourself as much as you can but nothing like getting out in nature that really clears the air 
And I feel for you guys that you are guarded and protected, nothing to worry about, but it's just because you guys are empaths and all that great stuff that it is hard for you guys sometimes, you know, it really is. So yeah, I feel like it's actually a good um, summer for your finances and your career, but also for just connecting with new people and having deep, deep conversations, neat, much needed conversations with people from your past, your present, and your future. And that is what I hear. That's what I hear very clear. He just was saying yes. Okay, as I said that, I pulled the yes card. So that makes sense. That's all I really got to say for my option number um, three people. I'll, pour, I'll pull one more card about this new love. The Hermit. Hmm. Person could have Virgo in their chart. This person is has a du dual personality, I'm hearing. They are a hermit and they're also kind of a showboat, you know? They got a Virgo side to them and like a Leo side to them, you know? But th that's just like, um, they may not, you know, be those signs in particular, but they have a side to them that's very withdrawn, well-studied, well-researched. They, they're energy sensitive as well, but they also love to entertain and they could be having a job where they're in the spotlight or have public re recognition. So that is kind of what I see. They have a dual personality. I feel like you'll connect with them on that level. And yeah, this person's been through a lot of heartache and heartbreak. And yeah, they definitely worked really hard to release toxic energy. Kind of feel like they're on the same, like a similar path to you if you guys are releasing an ex right now. And yeah, I see that this person's gonna be really curious about you and that's how you're gonna know it's them. They're just gonna be really curious and like really wanna get to know you. And they're definitely gonna come in sometime this summer, if not sooner rather than later. So that's what I feel for my option number three, people. All right, let's move on to option number four. Let's find out what's happening in your love life this summer. All right, so you guys are definitely going to be really kind of helping a lot of people I see this summer. I feel like you guys may have some people around you that feel a little needy, but I feel like you guys are gonna be in your Mother Teresa mode. I feel like, and then you're gonna get annoyed and be like, why do I keep helping all these people? That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I feel like you guys are kind of be like, um, motivated in your career, I'm seeing as well. Okay, so I kind of feel like you guys just always spend a lot of time and energy helping people. So I feel like you're going to try to learn how to receive more. Some of you guys are focusing on, you know, opening that flow of abundance, you know, to you. Some of you guys may have had problems receiving in the past. So I see you guys working on receiving abundance and love. And I do see a new love coming in for you. I feel like at first you guys are going to be a little bored with how things are going. But we have two aces here. So you guys are off to a new start but it may feel like a slow start but there's just a lot of stuff going on internally with you guys that i feel like is making you transform yeah i feel like you guys are still releasing a lot of burdens but you do have a new love coming in actually you guys have a choice of new loves coming in so you might be meeting a few people and i feel like fate is going to bring you a few people yeah i am getting that because i do see that you know you guys see how i saw like two needy people you might find that they're needy people or kind of codependent i don't know why but i kind of feel like some of these people are going to be attracted to you with lust so i feel like you guys are kind of light workers and you have this like really kind nurturing energy so this summer you guys are going to be connecting with a lot of people but you're going to try to figure out you know who you want in your life who's kind of needy i do feel like there is going to be someone at the end of the summer that you choose and you find that they're not you know, they stand out from the rest. So at first I feel like you might be dealing with a lustful kind of karmic situation, maybe someone you already know. And then I feel like by the end, you might be meeting somebody a little bit more stable. You might be dealing with a Leo or Sagittarius energy. I feel like the relationships that are coming into your life right now are meant to help you transform. And so don't stop what you're doing. And if you're kind of like, you might, you know, reconsider. You might be seeing one person and be like, you know what, this isn't for me and start seeing someone else. I feel like you guys are not going to commit very soon. You might be taking on some Leo Sag energy yourself you might have that in your chart. I feel like you guys are learning how to love yourself first and trust that you don't have to be with a childish person if you don't want to. And I feel you guys find that you're having a hard time connecting with others because people are much more childish or immature than you. So you don't have to be with these people. You can have fun with them, but you don't have to settle down. You know, there is going to be something better coming in for you. For sure, I pulled new love. And I feel like you guys are gonna be focusing on your work a lot as well. Keep it moving, you guys are doing a great job. I feel like you guys also are just gonna be having fun, keeping a sense of humor. I see you connecting with somebody in the summer romantically that does have a good sense of humor as well. And I feel like the romance angels are helping you find that person that makes you laugh that you can have a good time with. I feel like a lot of you guys are young or you're just at a place in life where you just need someone that's going to make you laugh and have fun with you. And I feel like that's what you guys are going to find. That's what you need. I'm seeing that you guys do have a lot of spiritual gifts. It keeps coming up that there's childish people around you. So I keep seeing that some of you guys actually work with children. Or you work with people who are special needs. Or you work with people that are, you know, or you're just a healer of some kind. So you are naturally around a lot of people. And you're naturally always healing, helping people. So I feel like, you know, you deserve somebody in your life that's going to make you laugh and forget about your troubles as well. You guys are going to be healing a lot of people. But you probably already always do that. 
I feel like you guys are just getting a hello from the angels. Like you kind of know what you're up to. You kind of are in communication, I feel like, with your angels, some of you guys. I feel like some of you guys have spiritual gifts, so you're just watching this as a confirmation. Again, we got Ace of Swords. Okay, Ace of Swords again. So, you know, I really feel like this is going to be a summer for you about clarity. You're going to find a lot of clarity, which is really good if you've been dealing with spiritual development, and that can cause a lot of confusion when you're going through all those changes. So, yeah, I do feel like with the King of Cups here, there will be a male energy entering your life. I feel like at first you might be a little closed off to this person. But I feel like, you know, with the Three of Cups here, I do see you guys dating around, let's see, Judgment and the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to choose to stay single. Let's see. Okay, soulmate. Um, yeah, it's going to be really up to you. I feel like you guys are going to be dating around and there is going to be an energy by the end of the summer. Some of you guys are going to end up wanting to be with this person. That's what I kind of do see. Let's, but I feel like a lot of these relationships are for learning and for growth. So keep that in mind. But I do feel like there's this a main energy of someone you are going to be with and be around. And that's what I see. Your situation is going to improve. Don't worry about that. I'm also seeing for you guys this summer, you're going to be nurturing yourself. It's all about that me time. And I'm also seeing that, yeah, focus upon divine health. Health is going to come first as well. It's going to be a big growth period for you and a big money prosperity period as well. So a lot going on there. It makes sense that you guys may not want to overinvest in someone you feel is less mature than you. So just hold out until you meet somebody that's good for you. I feel like you may not know exactly by the end of the summer who you want to be with. I see you got options. So just enjoy and just understand that everything is for lessons and for growth, you know, and that's what I see for number four. All right, option number five. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if you're going to be finding some love this summer. Okay, so, so you guys definitely are going to have your options here. More importantly, I see you guys networking. There's a lot of pentacles here. So I honestly feel like a lot of your focus is going to be on finances, career, stability, family, friendships, like things outside romantic relationships. I do see someone here, though, a king of pentacles person. I do see him possibly an earth sign male. And this person could be very indecisive and have air in their chart as well. But I do see there is a substantial person coming in for you guys. I do feel like you have a third energy distracting you right now. Could be, you know, healing, heartache, indecisiveness. Could also be just, you know, your your work. Could be, you know, that's what I'm seeing. But overall, just be patient. I feel like you guys just feel like right now you don't have the time to date. You're, you're focusing your career. The King of Pentacles could also be you. You guys are might have your own business. We have a lot going on. And you might be, you know, have a lot of responsibilities and you're trying to connect with new people. You're trying to network. And I see you guys doing all those things. So love is not going to be the main priority for you guys this summer. However, there is going to be people that are very fond of you. I also feel like you guys are going to be a bit of a heartbreaker this summer because you are going to be so grounded and focused on your goals that, you know, you're not going to be, you know, wasting time and energy on people. It's not your main focus right now. I feel like with the seven of swords, you guys might be in a little bit in your, in your player energy. I'm not going to lie. Let's see why. Page of Wands. Um, interesting. Yeah, I just kind of feel like, hmm, interesting. Let me see. Success. What's this about? Helpful people. I feel like you guys just have a lot of people coming up around you. Like, you got a Page of Wands, a Page of Cups, an Emperor, a King of Pentacles. Um, and then we have a Seven of Swords. That's why I kind of feel like you guys might be dating around a lot. I kind of feel like there is somebody that is going to end up, you're going to end up being with, but we're going to see a little bit more about that because I do see this energy as someone who doesn't want to leave your life, leave your side. So we have, it could be a somewhat Capricorn in their chart. I feel like you guys are going to be putting yourself first and putting your ideas, your connections, your friendships first. I feel like you guys have a little bit of anxiety about your work. Jupiter is here. You guys are really career focused right now. Honestly, I feel like that's what's taking up a lot of your time and energy. And I kind of feel like somebody is going to really have feelings for you this summer and they're going to feel neglected by you because you're going to be focusing on your work a lot. I also feel like a lot of you guys, maybe some of you guys are actually in a relationship right now and this is what's carrying through because I see there's such a stable energy there of somebody there being frustrated. But I also see that there is a little bit of other energy there. So for those that are in a relationship right now, I feel like you guys could be dealing with somebody, you know, another person trying to flirt with you or something like that, you know, not your partner, but you, I kind of feel like there's, there's going to be people asking you out. You might be, you know, in a relationship, but other people might be trying to ask you out. That's kind of what I'm getting, but there's going to be a lot of helpful people. You guys are going to be meeting a lot of people because you're going to be networking a lot and that kind of stuff. So I feel like there's going to be people that might be inappropriate with you just because you're going to be meeting a lot of people and you might kind of feel like you're cheating or something like that. Cause I feel like somebody feels deceived or somebody feels like they have to lie about something this summer 
and I'm not really too sure why, but I'm also seeing that some of you guys will be getting into a relationship and maybe you're not really used to that. So some of you guys have been single for a while and you, you forget the rules of the game. Like, you know, like what is um, appropriate? And um, yeah, I kind of feel like some of you guys will be going through a relationship problem where you might want more freedom and have to lie to your partner. For those that are in a relationship, for those that are single, you may be meeting somebody, but this person, you know, they are going to feel a little slighted by you because you're so focused on either like, um, you know, you're networking your business, something like that. So you guys, option number five, you know, you have a lot going on and I feel like you're prioritizing yourself and your business above a relationship. I feel like with the next couple of weeks, just trust. This is nothing to worry about. Ask your angels because of course everyone's situation is different, but this is just a general message, but you will be getting to know, you will be getting to know somebody that you really do enjoy. This person um, could possibly be a soulmate for long term. I do feel like they're very playful and they're very open-minded. They could be from another area, another town, another country. Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting. Someone who's really different from your usual type. You guys are just focusing on detoxing, you know, all negative people from your life right now. And I'll see you guys connecting with, like, groups of people that have similar like-minded um, ideas about things. I feel like with the Four of Cups here, you guys, yeah. I feel like you guys are so frustrated with certain things or certain aspects right now that you're you're just more focused on your your finances than anything else but i feel like there is going to be a lot of positive changes coming yeah there is someone coming that you have great chemistry with but i feel like right now just be gentle and patient with yourself prayer will help you with this situation admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly and believe and trust so i'm trying to get more clarity on this relationship stuff god is in charge of our and romantic feelings so I kind of feel like some of you guys may start off the summer like kind of seeing someone else and then switching over. I kind of feel like there's going to be a little bit of air of like dishonesty. You guys are trying to figure out what you want first. Like you might be lying to a partner or lying to a person to, to protect their feelings. I don't know why I'm seeing that for you guys, but I feel that it's something that you feel like you need to do. There is going to be romance. There is someone that really is going to have strong feelings for you, but they're going to feel like you're not being honest with them. So I feel like that's going to be a major theme in the summer. You guys probably are not used to like the energy of somebody just trying to be there for you. I just feel like there is going to be someone coming in trying to be there for you. And you guys might be juggling two different people or, or a really busy job in this person. And, and it's going to be hard for them. I, I see this coming in. And like I said, some of you guys are already dealing with this and it's like coming through in the cars. But I do feel like there this person is solid, you know, and I feel like you are going through a lot of transformations right now. And I feel like, you know, you got, some of you guys have anxiety about traditional relationships. Maybe you have trouble with that. But I feel like with the lovers here and Six of Swords, you're healing those problems. I feel like some of you guys have dealt with, like, commitment problems. And now, like, that you are you're wanting to attract the right partner for you, but you're not really sure how to go about it. So this summer is going to be about, you know, trying to figure out how to be honest, how to date, you know, and how to really commit to somebody that you like. And I see that there's somebody there. So you guys will not be single. If you're single right now, you're probably going to be getting into a relationship. And um, you're learning how to balance a relationship and your career. For some of you guys, it may just be about relationship career. And this person could get jealous that you are, you know, around a lot of male energy. If you're a female or, you know, whatever. If for your work or something like that. So I just see, like, these issues coming through. But overall, I feel, you know, that you guys are going to be steady working on your goals. And, you know, it's going to be a good time for finances for you. And that is what I see. Let me get one more clarifier for you guys. No. It's like big happy changes are coming in the near future. I feel like there's a message here that I'm missing. You guys, if you're worried, you're worried over nothing. Just have fun. I feel like you are right to focus on yourself. And I feel like for the most part, you guys are learning how to be adaptable. And you don't have to, you know, overcommit to anything if you don't feel comfortable doing so. And I'm also seeing for you guys that yeah six of cups is here there is going to be romance and love and all those things so i feel like you guys will be into a relationship but there could be some complications but they're all for learning and for growth does that make sense option number five i'm picking up the whole spiel but some of you guys are dealing with this energy and i, I guess that that's what it is yeah i really feel like someone is going to fall in love with you guys this summer and you might end up hurting them by accident and this is going to to affect you because it's going to affect the course of that relationship but it's going to help you learn and grow from it as well i kind of do feel like that i don't really feel like I feel like you guys are going to do the hurting i don't feel like you're going to be hurt if that makes sense so interesting all right let's move on to option number six let's see what is happening this summer let's see what romantic situation is happening this summer okay so you guys are definitely going to be learning how to be more balanced. I see you guys are naturally becoming very intuitive. This is going to be a huge summer for spiritual transformation, option number six. 
I see that for sure. And I'm also seeing that, yeah, you guys are, okay, you're definitely entering some sort of, there's gonna be romance here for sure. Okay, we got balance again. So you guys might be actually balancing out a relationship that you're already in, that already exists, with somebody that you already know. Someone you feel a unique connection with, and I feel like you guys are gonna be balancing yourself out so you can attract this person in a balanced way. But let's see, yeah. I feel like you guys don't really see the situation very clearly. I feel like with Venus here, a lot of you guys like are very attracted to somebody, but you're not really sure why. Like maybe this person, you're not really in contact too much. You're, you're feeling a, a spiritual connection with somebody, I feel. You got Aries energy. They could have Aries in their chart. Uh, now, I feel like you guys will be in recovery right now. There will definitely be some opportunity for romance, but you got to let go of control issues and let things happen naturally. I feel like you guys will be, you know, conversing with someone you're very attracted to this summer. I feel like the law of attraction plays a big role here and pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so I feel like you guys are going to be going through a spiritual transformation this summer. And through that transformation, you're going to learn about relationships. You know, you're going to be using the law of attraction, paying attention to your dreams, because there's going to be a situation that comes through that not all that meets the eye. It's going to be very like spiritual connection. And you guys are going to learn through that connection. And it could be someone you already know right now. I see you with the tower here. There's going to be a lot of big changes going on inside of you. And I feel like you guys will be letting down your defensive energy so you can open up to love. You guys will be spending a lot of time outdoors. Some of you guys are into hiking or just gardening. And I see you guys doing a lot of that. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're going to be overcoming some difficulties, I feel, but it's going to be all for beneficial growth. And I feel like you guys, you know, are going to be healing a lot of the relationship. You're going to be becoming more aware of yourself and what you want in a relationship. Yeah, I feel like make a commitment. Okay, so I feel like you guys, hmm, let's see here from now. Let's see what this is about. Okay, I do kind of feel like for you guys, be careful not to overcommit to anybody too soon. You might be meeting someone that you feel like an instant connection with, but I feel like don't, like this is going to be a lesson for you to try not to overcommit until, you know, the reality matches up to the, the psychicness of the situation. Because I know sometimes we all feel these intense, amazing connection with people and then like it just kind of drops off. And it's funny how karmic situations work like that it feels like they're the one and poof they're gone and all these things happen for divine reasons and for growth but yeah i feel like you will be getting some sort of wish that you want with somebody that you want and it could be someone you know right now i'm actually feeling like that but i feel like for a lot of you guys you will be getting communication with somebody you wanted to hear from i see a year from now here because it's gonna be someone you know for years or a year ago or you know you could be improving your relationship up until a year from now but just know your loved ones are safe let's see we got this. Hmm. All right. So what else? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this person. The devil. Yeah. I kind of feel like this is okay. Cause I feel like this could be somebody from the past that has hurt you that you want to hear from and you will be hearing from this person. You will be happy with it, but they are just saying, be careful not to overcommit. You might end up choosing a new direction away from this person because I feel like, yeah, I just feel that you guys are manifesting someone communication with somebody you're trying to manifest communication with somebody from your past and you will get that and that's what i'm getting so it's up to you what you do from there but i feel like you know the angels were sending you signs but i feel like this is a karmic situation that you'll be dealing with listen to your intuition yeah let's see what else we have going on here you guys are gonna be taking a lot of action this summer towards your goals i feel like you guys do have a gift of clairsentience like everything that's happening with this relationship right now that you might be aware of or maybe you haven't met this person yet and you will I feel like it's going to help you become more aware of what is intuition and what, like, how to use intuition in to benefit your life. Does that make sense, guys? Because I, I, I feel like this is a complicated kind of message. Again, pay attention to your dreams. You guys definitely um, are going to be hearing from someone that you're dreaming about. That's kind of the sign that I'm getting. You guys are going to be hearing from someone you're dreaming about, but... It's important to just like keep like to not try to figure out everything with spirituality or watch a hundred pick of cards like everything is meant to unravel the way it's meant to just keep working on yourself law of attraction and the situation will play out the way it needs to. This is very interesting. Yeah, you guys are definitely hearing about someone that that is you guys are dreaming about someone and this person dreaming about you as well. Like I'm kind of getting this is kind of crazy. And it's kind of giving them anxiety like it's so weird. I kind of feel like this person feels like overwhelmed by the connection with you. So let's see what they're going to do next. They are kind of trying to figure out what they want to do next. Maybe you guys know who this person is, and I don't really know why they're coming in that way. But I do feel like you're on the right path. So 
Let's see what else is here. Forgiven learning, yes. I feel like there is gonna be a major theme with some sort of karmic relationship. And I feel like it's gonna be up to you what you guys wanna do. And you're saying yes, so you will be kind of involved with someone. You're gonna be hearing from someone you really wanna hear from. But I feel like this is gonna be some sort of divinely guided spiritual growth type of relationship. And the outcome is going to be helping you with some sort of work or goal or something. Whether it's learning something spiritual or something with your work or it's helping you become smarter or wiser or just there is just something that's going to benefit you from this relationship you're going to increase in either material or spiritual growth i literally just said that so that's what's going on this summer okay why well, can't things be easy but yeah this person is going to be devoted to you they're just trying to balance i really think it's someone that like you know already they're, they want to be devoted to you but they're really trying to balance themselves out and that's what i see here and you guys are not meant to know exactly what's supposed to happen but like I said, don't, like, you guys might be committed to this person, like, from the moment you see them, but try not to overcommit unless, you know, the energy is exchanged equally. That's kind of what I see. There's a lot of confusion and fear of the unknown here with this relationship on both ends. So if you don't know this person, then prepare for some sort of weird spiritual connection relationship. That's all I gotta say for my option number six. But if you haven't, if you have been going through this, then you're probably gonna hear from this person you're having this type of relationship with. All right, I hope that makes sense, six, because that was a little out there for my grounded uh, Virgo moon to process. Okay, let's move on to option number seven. Let's find out what is going on this summer. Okay, so I see with the King of Swords here in the Knight of Wands in the world, you guys are on a whole nother level. All right, so I see with the King of Swords, yes. You guys are really becoming smart, sharper, wiser, more impulsive, more confident, more able to go after your goals. This is gonna be the theme of the summer because you guys are gonna to try to like really change so you can go after the things you really want. The Empress is here, so you guys are really feeling yourself lately, or you will be. You guys are really gonna feel really beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, glowed up, energized, nurturing, loving, all those words are coming out. I feel like with the Three of Wands here, you guys are waiting for some big changes to come in, some big manifestations that you're frustrated. You're like, I've been manifesting these things. When are they coming? And they're coming very soon. Some of you guys want to make music. You want to make art. You want to express yourself. You want to be your true self. You want to follow the path that you feel is meant for you. And you will be doing that. Just be patient. I'm also seeing that you will receive a message here that's going to help you with your career. I'm not really sure why, but maybe it's an email, work email, sponsorship, something. I don't know why I'm hearing all these things. Um, some kind of like a, a, maybe a male energy that wants to work with you or a female energy that wants to work with you. Um, but I just see there's just like some sort of or some good news coming in or just some fast results. Um, it's going to help ease whatever uh, frustration you have. Also, I feel like someone is going to message you um, from your past as well. But we can look in that. We'll look into that later. So I see with the 10th house here, yeah, it is has to do with your destiny, like what's going on with this message, I feel. So that's kind of the strong indication that I that I got. You guys are going through a transformation right now, and I feel like you guys will have success from something that you've been working on in the past. I hear that. So you could be hearing someone with, with Taurus in their chart as well. This person could be involved with music or a musician, or you guys might have a music connection. Be patient with this person, I'm hearing. You know, you really know who this person is already. They also have heavy swords. They may have a, like a... um an air rising sign or moon or, or a heavy air in their chart. I feel like this is an overanalyzing person that maybe you're waiting to hear from, um, but they're bringing good news. For those that are waiting for like a work message, it could be someone that you work with or something like that, but it could be a romantic for some of you guys. I feel like you guys will be reaching out and branching out and asking a lot of people for help. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are forgiving and letting go of the past. So it's up to you what you want to do in terms of your romance this summer. Interesting, because I feel like, yeah, you're going to be hearing some positive message from somebody in your life for sure, but I feel, you know, it could be a family member as well. Something positive is happening revolving around a family member or a friend or a lover, and it's gonna impact your life very positively. It's something you guys wanna happen. So whatever came to your mind is probably that. You guys are gonna be having fun. I feel like you're gonna learn how to keep an open mind. You are gonna be passionate, and I feel like you will probably connect with somebody that, you know, you, you, you really like on the deeper level, and maybe that's the person that's messaging you. So I feel like you guys will be managing your time wisely. You're going to be taking like your business to a new level. I feel like some of you guys, it could be someone who wants to manage you or something like that coming in. And it's going to be really beneficial for your life or help our new manager or a new boss or a promotion. I feel like you guys are going to feel really grateful for this change. Got the Empress again. So wow, you guys definitely are glowing. You're at your ultimate 
manifestation, you know, I'm not gonna say your peak because you're just starting to really kick off right now. I feel like things are really positive for you. You had a, you, you know what? You guys have went through a heartache, heartbreak, but it made you so strong and wise. And you're channeling that into being better and being greater. You guys are getting smarter and wiser. Like I said, I got that source energy and I kind of feel like that's you. You know, you guys are gonna be pursuing something really big. So you guys are safe. You're really starting to review your life and realizing I've learned so much. And I feel like you guys are moving forward to some sort of big goal that you want. So I feel like, you know, you well, you are being watched over by the angels and your home and your children. Some of you guys are worried about your home, your children a lot, your family members. Everyone, especially during this time period, we're in the cancer season. Like, everybody's okay, guys. Don't worry. The angels are watching over, you know, whatever it is that you're going through. Let's see what this is about, this passion, this wedding. Okay, so I kind of feel like you guys kind of feel lonely. Like, maybe you want to be in a relationship. But I feel like, you know, you are going to meet somebody that you feel... Let's see... Okay, interesting. I feel like you guys are going to be dating around this summer. And I feel like you're going through all these transformations so that you can meet this right person that you could have this passionate wedding with. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Because I kind of see right now you guys are dealing with a lot of things going on here that hurt you in the past. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that you guys are on this self-love journey with the, with the Nine of Pentacles. Like, you guys are going to probably be single this summer. Even though I see passion and wedding, it's interesting. But I feel like it's because you're learning about relationships. Also, I feel like you're learning about relationships through other people's relationships as well. And I feel like you guys will be in and out of relationships possibly, or you might be dating around or keeping an open mind. But I feel like you guys are waiting till you feel that passion so you could have that wedding that you want. So I feel like until you feel that full passion, you might just be single, but you're really going to have some big transformations undergo. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting here. You guys don't want to compete. Like you guys want someone to just choose you. And I see that. And I'm also seeing that you guys are walking away. Something really, some big change is happening in your life this summer, I feel like. That might take a lot of time and energy. So I'm not seeing that like it's like that you're just lonely and, like, and crying all the time this summer. I just see that you're, you're focused on other things. Yeah, yeah, I just see you guys really like things are starting to come together for you in other areas of your life that you felt uncertain about. There's a king of coins here. So, hmm, interesting. Is this romance? <laughs> No, it's not romance. That's what I thought. Okay. You guys are probably building a business or something or your work or your career is really, really, really popular right now. And I feel like with the King of Coins here, it's kind of like you guys, like I see a lot of masculine and feminine energy and I was confused. So I was like, does this mean like relationship? But I actually realized it meant that you guys are strengthening your like both sides of yourself, both your masculine and your feminine side. So you can really stand on your own and be the person that you're meant to be. So everything you're going through is for learning and for change. Maybe you're the Taurus person. Maybe you're giving yourself the message you need to hear. Maybe you're Maybe you're going through some sort of huge transformation that is really important for you. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Like, you guys are going... Like, I feel like this is really positive for, like, my people who are, like, really career-focused, spiritual development, self-love. You guys are going to have huge strides. You don't even understand. I feel, like, the positivity in this pile, but I can't always put it to words, you know? Because, like, I know this is a love reading, but I feel like you guys are prepping for a huge soulmate right now. And they're going to come at the right time for you. You are definitely ready for something that you want to go, though. Okay, so, all, all, all right, all right. So, some of you guys are just ready to get out there and start dating. Because you are, there is someone coming in. They may not come in right away, but you're ready to get there and start dating. You have to start, I feel like you guys have to start putting yourself out there. So, you could start to, you know, figure out what it is that you want. So, you could find that right person for you. Because they are out there. But I feel like you guys are, need to start dating this summer. You know, for my younger people out there. And for some of you guys that are taking a break or had a heartache, you need to start putting yourself out there again. But with the Six of Wands here, you're going to have success in your career this summer as well. But I feel like love, like, is love is definitely going to come in. But I feel like you guys are going to be focused on other things at first. And I'm also seeing that you guys might be dating around and figuring out what you want so that that person can come in quicker. That, that real soulmate. Because you do have that wedding card there. It tells me there is a divine orchestrated soulmate that you guys are meant to be with. So don't worry about that. Everything that's going on right now is for learning and for growth. So this summer, guys, is spiritual transformation all the way. I see for you guys that you need to start having faith in your dreams because you're going to start going after your dreams this summer. And you're going to be very spiritual, very meditative. And I'm also seeing that, yeah, you guys definitely are going to be really excited about something going on. Some sort of good news is coming, and I can't explain it. Like, it's going to be really particular to your situation, but it's, it's some kind of change you were hoping for. A personal issue that you wanted to resolve. So that's really good, guys. All right, option number eight. Let's see... If you will be finding love this summer, let's see what's going on. Or will you be in a relationship or whatever? Okay, so I see. Oh, what's hiding over here? 
Okay, so the fact that this card was under here, I feel like you guys already have gone through a huge transformation right now and you're taking leaps towards new things. And I feel like you guys are gonna feel really stable within your energy. I feel like you guys are be going out and having fun. We got the toxic card here, so I feel like there has been a lot of toxic things going on around you and it's kind of shook up your life a little bit, but it was meant to be there so that you guys jump to new situations and find more stability within yourself. And don't forget, it's okay to go out and have fun. You know, too much, you know, partying or craziness or toxic people is bad, but not enough is also toxic. So think of it that way for whoever this messages may resonate for. I feel like you guys have been through a lot with the 12th house here. You guys are learning and growing, but I feel like you could have some Virgo in your chart. You know, you could be a moon Virgo or a rising Virgo or 12th house Virgo or Saturn Virgo. I see the Virgo there. So there's a lot of analyzing, learning, and I feel like you guys also will be servicing others a lot this summer. All right, so yeah. I think you guys had a breakup. You broke up for someone toxic or you broke up for a toxic friend, situation, family member, whatever. I feel like you guys broke up for something toxic and you really want compromise, but I feel like, you know, maybe this person just cannot be compromised with because they are so toxic. But that's okay. You can still jump into new situations and find stability within yourself. You can still have fun. You can still, you know, and it's okay to, to sometimes cut people off and be alone as well. I feel like, yeah, you guys definitely separated from something and it was a good positive change and you've already done that. So I feel like you guys deserve love and it's okay to be super aware to the red flags. I feel like some of you guys are afraid that if you keep cutting people off, you're going to end up alone. But I feel like it's okay to be aware of the red flags other people have in them. I feel like you guys are going to get recognition for some sort, of, some sort of success, you know, that you've been working on or some, you're going to get success for something that you've been working on. And I see, you know... It's important to ask the angels for what you want. Like you guys are just, I feel like you guys are just going to be going for what you want, asking for what you want in the universe. And I see the sun here. You guys are going to be very happy. So don't get nervous. Like this is all positive. I feel like with the high priestess here, you guys are intuitively understanding exactly what you need to manifest right now. So you are exactly where you need to be. You guys are really powerful right now. You're remembering who you are. It's like the more you get rid of people who try to tell you what you are, try to manipulate you, try to push you around, the better it's going to be. It's unlikely you're going to compromise with people who don't deserve to be compromised with. Sometimes it's okay to cut people off. Remember who you are. You're a magician. You're amazing. You're smart. You're wise. And you can you deserve better than toxic people around you. And I feel like with the Page of Spheres, you're going to be excited about new, new, new coming in. You're definitely going to start spreading your wings towards a huge goal right now. And I feel like you guys, yeah, detach and shield yourself. So I definitely feel like you guys are separating from something very toxic this summer. And it's going to be really positive influence on your life. A, po a very toxic person is leaving your life. Like I said, it could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a, um, a romantic partner. But this is so important to you because it's going to help you shift. I feel like this energy was something that was holding you back for so long. So let's see what else is coming in here. I feel like this person is like a jealous person that's leaving your life. Could be someone that you're romantically involved with. Like I said before, it doesn't really matter. But let's see what's to come now that this has been released or, you know, is being released. Justice. Positive things are going to come in. I feel like you guys, it's good, there's going to be less conflict in your life. And because of that, you're going to be able to go for what you want. I feel like you guys, yeah, I feel like this is somebody you felt like you had to lie to. Or someone you always have felt like you had to explain yourself to. But I feel like now with the Nine of Coins... You're going to be so happy in your own power. I feel like you're going to feel so confident and you're going to feel so independent. Maybe this person tried to take their your freedom away from you. So I feel like, yeah, you guys do have your walls up a lot ever since the situation. So I feel like maybe you're not going to be open to love, but I do feel like internal love. I do feel like you guys are going to be having a positive shift of love relationships, friendships, family members around you. You guys are healing right now. It's important to know that. So have confidence in yourself. And I feel... That the person you're asking about is trustworthy. Okay, so like I said before, there's going to be someone, you know, that you guys are worried about. But this person you can trust, I, I feel. Not the person you're separating from. Okay, yeah, you guys will be meeting with or hanging out with somebody that is trustworthy. Because you released this toxicness over here or this toxicness that released, it made room for somebody really, 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 really positive in your life. And I feel like this message you need to hear. Honestly, guys, it could be like anything like anything so you guys might be releasing something big but this is making space and this person took up a lot of space in your life there's a wish that you wanted a wish that you wanted is going to happen and a positive relationship is going to come into your life because of this and i see you guys got a lot of options here 
you guys, oh my God, you're just gonna be so happy with something that happens this summer. That's all I gotta say for you guys, but it's what you wanna manifest. So I feel like if it's like a really toxic friend, you're manifesting a new friend. If it's a toxic relationship, you're manifesting a new relationship. If it's a toxic family member, you're manifesting a closer relationship with a family member. And that's love, guys. It doesn't matter like what kind of relationship it is. Of course, you can pick another pile if you want more a more specific love message, but I feel like for those that this will have resonated as a love message, you are getting love, but most importantly, you're releasing something. But for those that didn't resonate as a love message, you know a romantic message doesn't mean it's not a love message does that make sense option number eight but it could be a love message i got across the board answers you know because there's so much stuff going on here just know that this your health is going to improve so much for those that have been dealing with stress and health issues from somebody toxic in your life so that's awesome guys I feel like you're moving on from something that really was holding you back and honestly that's huge guys that's really really huge so uh, congratulations option um, number eight let's move on to option number nine and see What's gonna happen this summer? What's your love life gonna be up to? All right, so. Yeah, I see that you guys definitely are manifesting right now. You're manifesting a change in your life. I feel like um, there's someone from the past that you are gonna give a chance to. I do see that. This person, um, yeah, there's, I feel like there's two different people you're gonna give a chance to. Let's see what's going on in your romantic life, guys. Uh, Aquarius. So this could be someone with Aquarius in their chart. You can have Aquarius in your chart. I feel like this, you, you guys are going to be, okay. I see you're going to be very playful this summer. You're going to be taking action towards making peace with some people from your past. That's kind of what I'm getting. I also see you guys are manifesting like some, a really big dream that you guys have wanted to pursue for a long time. Something you really want to do for a long, from a long time. You're doing that. Maybe you're connecting from someone from the past you possibly wanted to do or heal something from the past. Maybe it was an Aquarius or a Libra person or a fire sign or a water sign or a male friend. I do see that this person, okay. So we got love coming in for you guys. On top of that, I do feel like you guys will be giving someone a chance that you have long-term potential with. I feel like this could be a true love and a past life relationship. So you guys will be expressing your inner truth this summer. I feel like you guys are gonna be vulnerable with somebody and I see that there is going to be a lot of clarity coming in. And I see that, you know, this is some relationship I feel like that had a lot of conflict, a lot of games, but now there's like a little bit more of a playful approach to it, if that makes sense. There's something going on for spiritual understanding. So yeah, I feel like this is a favorable outcome for you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys, um, let me see, someone you know, the emperor. Honestly, I feel like this is somebody you know already. Honestly, honestly, honestly. I feel like you guys are going to reunite with someone you know or someone you already are in contact with right now. I feel like you guys, this is a past life relationship. Someone from your past, I feel like you guys are going to connect, take action, and have a peaceful resolution with. So I feel like this is what your summer is going to be focused on. But I also feel like on top of that, we're not, we're just focused on love life. We're not focused on everything else. You guys are, in the meantime, manifesting some sort of huge goal and dream. So keep in simultaneously with whatever's happening here. But I do see the energy of someone from your past that maybe you were defensive. You couldn't talk to them. You couldn't have those conversations with them. But now you're going to be able to do so. Yeah, you guys might have felt this person betrayed you with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands here. That This person may have felt you betrayed them, but I feel like you guys are going to resolve something from the past. They always wanted to come back into your life, but they weren't really sure how. And I feel like with the King of Swords here, yeah, this person definitely fears you hurting them, betraying them again, or whatever happened, or vice versa. But yeah, I feel like this could be the one for you guys to learn and grow from. I'm not saying this is the end-all relationship of your life, but I definitely see there's a lot of healing going on here. Because, of course, every relationship's different. I'm not going to sit up here and say, you're all going to marry this person or whatever. But I feel like you're resolving something from your past right now, and a positive outcome is going to happen. You're going to be really happy with this. So, now, option number nine, someone's coming back from your past, and you're going to resolve issues with them. And you're going to be happy with the outcome. It's going to happen exactly as you want to and double points if they're an air sign a, a libra a, a aquarius or gemini or earth sign a virgo taurus capricorn and if you're a fire sign or have fire in your chart as well then that's a triple bonus um yeah a lot of strength is going to go into this situation um i feel like yeah this could be a family member for you guys too but it could be a friend I see money coming to you guys too, but this is someone you really care about. You want to resolve your issues with them. So I'm seeing you're going to get, um, you get from the universe and this is something you wanted. This is a wish that's granted. So someone is coming back from your past. You hope to make peace with, and I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith towards this person because I feel like you, you do see their good side, but they have an indecisive side to them as well. You're not really sure what to make of them at first. I feel like, but I feel there is going to be a lesson for transformation here. 
And that is what I got for you guys. Option number nine. Let's see what else is going on. It's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Huh. Huh. Honor and trust your feelings. Your inner guidance is trustworthy. Let's see. The Hermit. King of Cups. You're making peace with somebody that you left in the past because you felt it was unhealthy. That's the kind of the message here. And it could be something of any level. And it's going to be romantic, I guess, for a lot of you guys. A romantic connection. But of course, we're going to underline all types of connections. Because love is love, you know. And it, and it, it doesn't just stop at, at friendship or, you know, whatever. I feel like this is something you have a lot of love for. It's why it's coming up in the cards. You create the situation. You have the power to change it. See that, guys? This is something that needs to be resolved, the karmic situation. So, interesting. Let me know option number nine. What is this about? Who is this about? Who do you think this is about? Who are you trying to make peace with? Is it already happening? Kind of what I'm getting. And I'm also getting you guys have a lot of other stuff going on, too. But this is just the main message here that you need to hear right now in this very moment. So, this is define your whole summer or anything like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day and night. Whenever you get to this reading, guys, I got one more card for you. Chakra cleansing. Don't forget to cleanse your chakra. You guys are super compassionate. And just know that everything that happens in your life is for learning, is for growth. And you're going to have a lot of great ideas coming to you guys. You guys have clear recognition. So you know exactly what's up, what to do in situations. Make sure you trust that. You guys have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, strength and resilience. And you have so much inner peace. So that was just like a bonus like little reading for you guys. Let go of your fear now. You can, just, you can definitely accomplish whatever it is you put your mind to. And use your imagination, you'll see the answer. So if you're wondering who this is about, close your eyes and whatever pops into your head, whoever pops into your head, this is probably the person that wants to resolve something with you. And this is someone from your past. Makes sense. We have heavy retrograde coming. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.